wenn sie die Hände besieren, wisst ihr, uns auch mehr an was auf der Tabelle? Und äh, helfen auf sie. Thank you for coming. Thanks so much. Um, none of you know me, so you've taken a risk on me, which is great for me. Um, I'm just going to start to break the ice. Um, I'm not actually Scottish. I'm f I live there. I've lived there a long time, but I'm from London. Um, and nobody accepts this, especially not the people in London, because my accent isn't correct for London. This is a song about not being from anywhere. Um, it might be because I'm English and what's going on at the moment, but I think that uh, what, where you're from is more about what you've experienced in life than, you know, the place you were born. This is called Woman From Nowhere. Kicking around my old stomping ground Staying on the river with a brother I found Sipping up a beer in a place I thought I'd found myself Thinking through the years of good cheers and good health So I will be your guest Singing in your town Birthplace a mile or two South and east of here But I am a woman from nowhere But I am from the workroom
Thanks so much. Um, it's a bad habit to start a set with a new song. But last night, I started a set with a really old song and ruined it within 20 seconds. So I'm going to have a new uh, habit of starting with the difficult ones. Okay. I had to practice this song yesterday. I haven't played this for some years. Um, but I, have, uh, I had a YouTube request from uh, Peter. So this is for Peter and Peter's family. This is called Make My Night. Um, it's about sort of thinking someone might like you and hoping they do, but possibly being wrong. Um, and with the band, it's a long song. With me, it's about two minutes. Sorry about that, Peter. Getting any better at reading your lines Getting any better at seeing your signs Cause I think you want me, babe So make my night Am I getting any better at coming out alive? Getting any better at seeing your lies I think you want me, babe So make my So as much as I don't like the digital world for music, um, it brought someone here tonight, so I can't complain, really. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm very lucky that my, my brain doesn't, uh, doesn't get too sad, ever. Whatever happens in my life, I just seem to be okay, and I think that's luck. I don't think there's anything I do. But I have a dear friend who um, really struggles, and she's wonderful, and she can't see it, and this song is about that. Um, she was into photography at the time. And this song is um, t the idea of taking photographs of herself through a broken camera, not seeing what other people see, which is a wonderful, wonderful human being. And it's called Broken Lens. You don't see it now, but you're out living life. Friend, you don't feel it now, but you're there living life. And those cracks and those scratches that you see. You are just looking, looking at your life through a broken lens. And friend, you don't see it now, but you've become quite so. For a lifetime, babe. 
Thank you very much. So, um, not all of my songs are sad, but many are. And if anybody's getting too sad, just say, do a happy one, Liz. And I'll try. <laughs> I may fail. Okay. I like to break things up occasionally with a cover song. Because when you're on your own on stage, you can play whatever you like. Um, which is nice, and uh, this is a J.J. Kale song. Any J.J. Kale fans in the audience? Oh yes, I thought you might be. J.J. Kale is a, a man that kind of lived in the woods for most of his um, second, sorry, part of his adult life. Wrote songs for other people that made big hit records with them. And um, not many people, unless they're kind of in the musical world, know about J.J. Kale, but he wrote very simple country rock songs with the most wonderful rhythm and delivery. Uh, so check him out if you like this song. It's called Riverboat. lots of things at home, different bands, and I'm in a band that just play the music of J.J. Kale. And um, we could probably, if we learnt all his songs, play for about 50 hours. He had a big uh, repertoire. Okay, okay I'm going to do a song called um, Joe. And Joe's about small town mentality. And the idea that if somebody's from your town or your area, you can forgive them. But if it's a... Uh, a foreigner or an outsider, then it's bad. Um, something I hope will get less in the world as time goes by. It's called Joe, and it's about three sort of semi-fictional people uh, from a small town I used to live in. And uh, I've called them all Joe for simplicity, and so I can remember the lyrics. <clears throat> oh, come on, Liz. 
When young Joe from your hometown Takes another young man down Do you not condemn those like him? But a young Joe from some other town Takes another young man Take your eating with pinches of salt. Remember, fear is no child's fault. Remember, all of your meals were hot, and so when you woke, you didn't fear a lot. Fear a lot. Now, a young Joe, she told a tale of grief. Shock the town to disbelief. Did you not condemn her too? Now, young Joe, she has fled the town. And a sad story, it's all around. Dare you not condemn her too? at your back door like he's knocked so many times before you show kind just like a good neighbor should but old Joe from some other place same sad desolate face you go blind you try not to I wrote this song, I'm going to tune just in case, just in case. Um, I wrote this song for somebody's wedding, um, a friend of mine from a long time ago. Met a man and uh, was so happy and he was the same and they were a lovely couple. And I wrote this song uh, sort of for their wedding um, as a, a gift. And um, in the planning of the wedding and up to that period of time, I was also planning my own wedding and a little preoccupied. And uh, I fell out with this friend. We, we, we had an argument uh, and we fell out. And so she's never heard this song and it's never been used. <laughs> so if anybody is getting married soon and would like a wedding song, it's, uh, it's up for grabs. Nobody's taken it yet because I think the story is a bit awkward behind it. But um, yeah, they were just, um, they found each other and they found themselves at the same time and it was nice. This song is called Little Song, Little Song for Love.
Just a little song for love. Just this little one for love. I do not need a reason, but if I did, the look in your eyes is enough. The look in your eyes, both steady and. Of calm and of desire, oh, and giddy like a child. It's like there's a new season where there's only sunrise, and I can see your freedom. You found your reasons to live. So just this little song for love, just this little one for love. Oh, I do not need a reason, but if I did, the look in your eyes is enough. Just a little rhyme for love. Just a few lines for love. Oh, I did not need a reason, but if I did, the joy in your smile is enough. The joy in your smile is both. Season where there's only sunrise, and I can see your freedom. You found your reasons to live in your lives. So just this little song for love, just this little one. So much. Um, so my apologies that I don't I don't speak any Dutch other than hello, and uh, I don't know what Andre said at the beginning, so I don't know what he's told you already. But yeah, we we met online, <laughs> then we met in person in uh, August last year in Venlo when I was playing with another band, sing hired hired singer for once. Um, and yeah, he's been a fantastic support to me and we've been trying to plan this for some time and it's amazing to be here. And I have to say, not to upset my lovely Edinburgh people, but we really lack beautiful, perfect music venues like this. Um, we, would, we, could, we would do a few of these back home. What a place, great venue. Um, right, okay, Mother Earth. Uh, this is a song about, uh, sadly, I would, I've tried really hard to have faith and find um, some belief in the afterlife or faith, and I can't, I just can't do it. It's not in here, as much as I've tried at times. And um, this song is about when you've messed everything up, and I have a few times in my life. And not having a faith, meaning you just, you've just got this life to correct, and you've got to put one step in front of the other, and eat and breathe and use this planet to get through, and that's what this song is about. Tongue. 
Thank you. Alrighty, so we will take a break. So you will have a break and uh, after maybe two or three songs to get a drink and things. But don't feel you can't get up if you need a drink now. I'm fine with that. I'm from Scotland. Getting a drink is important <laughs> when you need one. Um, I'm trying to do this tour a little bit sober because um, it's a refreshing break for me. Um, we like beer in Scotland a lot. And I love beer. Um, when I moved to Scotland, I, I was pleasantly surprised because um, I didn't know they made such amazing beer, but they do, fabulous beer. And it's been bad for me in general in this region. Um, so I'm having a little break. I will be having one later though. Okay. I'm gonna sing a song called No Classic Love Song. Um, this is my second wedding song. But this one worked out. These, this couple got married, and I did play this song on their wedding day pretty badly because I was nervous. And then it's still happily married 10 years on, and they've got two children. So this is for dear friends of mine, uh, Hannah and Ross, who won't be watching because they have no idea that this is on. But they might watch it another time. It's called No Classic Love Song. Magic 
man Crossing borders to make your plans And I have never seen a stronger hand in my days Well, you don't need no classic love song Tradition is not your style And the way you live your lives Always makes me smile And anybody who knows you like me Would simply agree That you were meant for things Beyond this world You are holding all the A's And anybody who knows you like me Would simply agree That you were meant for things Stranger than this world Thank you so much. All right. If anybody is interested in St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I'm a big Guinness fan. Um, maybe I'll have one of those if you have it next. Um, just a shout out to a, a nephew of mine who might be watching. Harry, happy birthday. F family member of mine, my nephew, my uh, Cornish nephew. Ready. We're going to do uh, maybe one more, I'm going to get a break and then it'll be a similar length again unless you start screaming for more and then I will play on longer. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to end on a cover um, for the first set. This is a Sippy Wallace song and it was made known to me by Bonnie Raitt. Um, Bonnie Raitt being a fantastic blues slide player on the guitar and vocalist and wonderful woman. She won a, a Grammy this year um, and beat people like Beyonce, which was a shock. And one of our not very nice newspapers in the UK, which I blame for Brexit, boo, hiss. No, I'm not a fan of Brexit at all. And I didn't vote for it. Um, uh, this paper said, unknown blues singer wins Grammy. And Bonnie Raitt has been making records and playing like the true legend she is for decades and decades and the entire music community of the UK was in uproar against this paper. And um, I think they did it deliberately to get the attention, that paper. I'll tell you which paper it is, but I probably shouldn't say it because I'm being live streamed. But if you know anything about the UK, you can guess which one. This is a Sippy Wallace song uh, who was Bonnie Raitt's mentor and she gave this song to Bonnie Raitt to do. And that's how I know it. It's called Women Be Wise. And it's a blues song, and uh, there's nothing like a bit of good old-fashioned sexism in a blues song. Women be wise, keep your mouth shut Don't advertise your man Don't sit around gossiping About what your good man can do But women nowadays, you know they ain't no good They laugh in your face, try to steal
steal your man from you so women be wise keep your mouth shut don't advertise your man your best girlfriend may be highbrow changes her clothes three times a day but what do you think she's doing now now you're so far away she said she's loving your man in your own damn bed call for the doctor honey and investigate your head so women be wise keep your mouth shut don't advertise your man So women be wise, keep your mouth shut, don't advertise your man. Don't sit around telling all your secrets, what your good man really can do. If you talk about your baby and you tell me he's fine, I'll sneak up behind you, sugar, you know I'm gonna make him mine. Women be wise, keep your mouth shut, your man so women be wise keep your mouth shut and don't advertise your man thank you so much I will take a break so you can get a drink and I will be having much more of the same in I don't know when the bar's ready when you've all had been served thank you The city behind her Headed towards the mountains Out in the west He is grieving Cause he knows he'll never find her Though he promised he loved her the best Yeah, he promised he loved her the best I'm, I'm from the land of the sausage roll, Scotland. Um, okay. Because I'm being live streamed, I can't talk about this song in great detail, but what I will say is, I wrote this um, about somebody's partner, somebody who was waiting for their, their partner to make a decision. Uh, endless waiting for somebody to decide whether they want to be with you or not. This song is called Lover, which is a cliche, I realize, but um, that's what this person was. She was his lover, and he wanted her to be his partner, but it didn't get to that stage, sadly. Uh, this song is called Lover, and it's about waiting for someone to say, yeah, I want to be with you. And you, most people have been there once or twice, I expect.
Tell myself I can come There's a song called Roll Me In. Um, it makes no sense in English, so don't worry about the meaning sounding strange. Um, it should be Reel Me In, but I have a slight lisp on my R's, uh, which I think might be a family thing. I hope my family don't take offense when they're watching. Um, and Reel is a really hard word to sing, and Roll just sounds nicer. So it's called Roll Me In, and it's about... Um, Somebody that you've begun to absolutely adore, taking all of your brain, every little piece of your brain, uh, every moment of the day, which is a great time, isn't it? It's a great time. Uh, this is called Romeo, and, and uh, yeah, it's a love song, I suppose. <laughs> Stay, darling. My walk and my stay, darling. 
Thank you. That's an old tune. So it was about 12 years ago I left London with a broken heart, boo. And I uh, wrote that song about the person that I, uh, my first love, big relationship in London for me. Five years with them and five years in a job I hated. And when the relationship ended, I hated my job. So I said, right, I'm leaving London. London sucks. And a friend of mine had a, a sofa in Edinburgh and uh, she put me up and I never left. I literally went to her sofa and never left the city of Edinburgh in Scotland and it's now very much my home. And uh, I'm gonna sing, what am I gonna sing? That was a friend helping me out. So I'm gonna do another song about friendship. Uh, this is a song telling somebody um, that you want them to let you know when they need help rather than hiding tell you when they need help uh, so that you can know to be there for them. A request, really. It's called On the Ride. It's about trying to join somebody on that journey when they're having a hard time. I'm going to need to make sure that one's in tune. Apologies. It's too sweet a song to do this one out of tune. <laughs> tune but it doesn't sound in tune so that will be the beer that I had um, the bar staff just they forced me <laughs> I've only drunk half of it okay on the ride When your luck is low, old friend And it seems your road will end Let me know when the mountain arrives I will join you on the ride It's not fair that you go through Rock and roll It's not right That you suffer this After all these years To go alone And he will love you Till the day you but I know sometimes you try to be too strong for him you lie and I will join you on the ride so show your sadness to me now let it all out scream and shout go on let me know when the mountain play my rock and roll it's not right that you suffer this after all these years to go it's not fair that you suffer this you took my side at nine and it's not right that 
So when your luck is low, old friend, and it seems your road will end, go and let me know when the mountain arrives, and I will join you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll do a couple of bluesy songs. Um, I think karma. Karma would be the most wonderful thing to believe in and makes the most sense, but sadly, I've tried really hard and I just don't believe karma is real. This is a song um, I've written from the perspective of a bad person. And the thought behind it is that there are too many not very nice people in the world living probably wonderful lives. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my um, evidence for karma not being real. <laughs> Unless there's another life, then I'm completely wrong. The song is called Karma. Anybody, anybody believe in karma? Anybody think karma's real? 
Does it translate to Dutch karma? Same word? Okay, good. <laughs> it would be good if karma was real, wouldn't it? Do something bad and fluff a guitar chord. <laughs> um, right, yo. right, another blues one for you. Okay, a happy song, I guess. Um, so uh, when I first moved to Edinburgh, I got a job in a coffee shop um, making coffee. And about two years after that, I decided that it was good life. And I got my own coffee shop with a friend. And I made coffee in my own shop for five years. And um, I had a customer called Wendy. And Wendy came every day for a black coffee for years, three years maybe. And then one Monday, she just didn't come to the shop. And I thought, Wendy must be on holiday. And then two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And then I started to think Wendy's dead or Wendy's upset because something bad happened. I made her a bad coffee or she's, I don't know, lost. <laughs> and I wrote a, a very lighthearted song about uh, Wendy going missing. I'll tell you what happened to Wendy after the tune. Um, and this is me really attempting to play the blues. In Edinburgh, I have, uh, I'm very lucky. I have a great blues guitar player to do a lot of this stuff for me. Uh, he's my partner as well. And he, um, he takes this song to the next level and we will hopefully come back with him next year <laughs> and the band if I'm, if I'm lucky. This is called Wendy. Where did you go to? Tell me, where did you go? Where did you go to, Wendy? Darling, I want to know. On Friday, Wendy showed. Monday, you go home. I made you strong, but I caught me. Let a man. So Wendy, she, um, I bumped into her in the pub about three months after writing that song. And um, she developed a very quick allergy uh, to caffeine and couldn't have coffee anymore. And couldn't come into the shop because we made coffee all day long and the smell was too distracting for her because she missed it. So 
she's absolutely fine and just doesn't drink coffee anymore, which is a shame for her. Um, all right, we're going to do a sad one now. <laughs> the song is called No Gold. Um, I wrote this after um, reading a, sorry, watching a documentary about a, a law that had been passed uh, in a country in Africa, and the law was uh, that it was punishable um, to be selling a car or renting a room or loaning money to a known homosexual person. If somebody was a homosexual, it was illegal to sell them a car or rent them a room, etc. And I thought that was so sad because it's not only uh, criminalizing the person, but also criminalizing the people that want to just be kind and help and not, not care about such things. So this is a heavy one, folks. This is called No Gold. in this world and 
and it is so cold and it's getting so Thank you. That's probably the hardest one I have. It's okay, it gets better from here on, in the, in the mood department. Um, so who's been to Edinburgh? Has anyone been, been to my hometown? No, okay. I'm surprised, because it's, it's a sort of weekend destination for a lot of people. It's, it's like an hour from here on, on a plane. So come. But wait two years, because um, the, the whole city is dug up with roadworks, and it's a mess. <laughs> and uh, come in spring or, or autumn, when you're not uh, surrounded by tourists taking photos of everything all the time. It's a nicer city in those months, um, spring and, and autumn. And write to me, and I'll uh, give you some recommendations on music and food, if you like those things. I'm not brilliant at culture. I had to change my budget and my lifestyle when I became a musician. So going to galleries and, mu and uh, museums is not my thing anymore. I would if I could. Um, OK, we will do a song called Red Flame. Th this is a lighthearted tune. This is a really old tune. And it's about um, somebody being very, very drunk. And when they're very drunk, they, they find themselves attracted to you. And you know it's just the wine. It's called Red Flame. I wrote this about a redhead. streaming. Can I bring myself tomorrow to take the blame? Right, 
Let's have an angry one now. Haven't had an angry one yet tonight. I have two. Uh, this is brand new, this song, and I played it for the very first time in front of human beings last night. And it went well last night, which means it might not tonight. It's a 50-50 rule with new songs. Um, this is a song about someone at work who, uh, at the time, just um, takes a dislike to someone and is cruel to them for a couple of months and then moves on to a different person. Literally, like a loop. And I think everyone's aware of it, and they don't realize it's called On the Low, which kind of means uh, in secret, I guess, if that doesn't translate. When you said you had a dreadful time on the low, I know I know. Suddenly we're on my side On the low I know I know how hard you try Well you told us your theory No one can be cheery all the time But you badmouth everyone So everyone knows we're just in the line Oh whatever I have done Oh whoever their turn Well, you told us your theory, no one can be cheery all the time But you know the difference between fairness and meanness and cross the line Oh, whatever I have done And whatever I have caused along my way I'm grateful I don't have the terrible curse Thank you. Twice in a row, maybe we have a winner. Okay. Okay, a couple more, and then um, I don't want to force you to stay longer, but I will play longer if people want to stay. I'm going to do a song called Rainbows. Rainbows is a tune I wrote, um, which I can talk about here because I'm in the Netherlands. Um, my first love in London, a uh, huge, crazy, wild love, because I was really young, and they were wonderful and all that. And we used to smoke marijuana together in London. Um, and it's not something I do these days, or very, very rarely, because I eat too much, and I do nothing with my life. So it's in the past. However, when I first moved to Edinburgh, occasionally I would smoke, and um, it would always take me back to that relationship and that place. And... Rainbows symbolizes, for me, if I have too much of something like this, I see these funny little rainbows in the lights, little colors. It's something that happens to me. And it will always make me think of that relationship and that time. But time has passed and I'm happy that they are happy and we're friends and it's lovely. So this is a, a positive song about um, an ex that you are still very much uh, um, care for as long as they're okay that's the that's the point okay rainbows rainbows 
this sugar is giving me a notion that I can be free. I'm holding my head up high now above my sliding feet. When I see those rainbows, I'm almost there in your bed. But the lines of your face and your body will rush through my head. As on a night like this, the memory of your kiss as the sky it turns. To call it a word, they all rhyme, they say I'm but I wonder if I could the rainbows in my blood ever not recall loving you at all. It was the right choice, dear. I feel. My bones, and I will only smile, dear, the day I hear that you are not alone. And I cannot recall exactly all the cruel things we say. Thank you. Okay, song called Strum. Um, this song is called Strum, and uh, it's a bit rude. <laughs> it's lots of innuendo, and it's about fancying a musician on stage, seeing a musician on stage and just thinking, yeah. Which, you know, a lot of guitar players have that, and um, a lot of um, sort of front singers particularly guys, I guess, they get a lot of attention. And when the band are here, I would say, picture the, your favorite musician and just imagine the song is about that person. 
from the band, but I can't do that because it's just me and it's a bit narcissistic. This song is called Strum, so take this with you to the next gig you go to when you find a band member attractive and think of these lyrics which are filthy. so much. Okay. Um, I think I'll end on a cover. Um, you must have heard of this song. And Grace Slick wrote this tune. And probably you now know which one it is, if you know Grace Slick or Jefferson Airplane. i 
Thanks so much. <laughs> if you do know that song, you'll know that I did that all back to front. Uh, but it, it's okay, because I got the note at the end, which is the most important thing. The great Gla uh, Grace Slick and Jefferson Airplane. My name's Liz Jones, um, which is a really common name. So if you like this stuff and you want to find it online, or for anything at all in the future, you have to put the word music after it, Liz Jones Music, otherwise you get a columnist from the paper that I don't like in England, who is also called the same name as me. Um, and if you like bigger stuff with a band, great guitar player we have, wonderful uh, keyboard player, percussionist, bass player, and drummer. Full band stuff. Kind of a bit bluesier, a bit more like southern rock than this. Then we are called Broken Windows, and if you put my name and Broken Windows, you will find my band, not a window repair shop. Um, and it's all available online, and as much as musicians these days need support in a, a monetary sense, it also uh, helps if you do want to listen to things online for free, because it's the only way festivals will take us seriously these days, and, and bookers and promoters, they judge us by like a metric on YouTube or Spotify. So it really does still help. And if that's all you can do, that, that we'd be grateful for that, a little follow or a little watch. Um, Liz Jones band, Liz Jones and Broken Windows. Come and speak to me. Um, and that's what makes all the gigs different for me, meeting new people. So come and say hello. And a big thanks to Andre for putting me on in Holland this weekend. And your venue is possibly up there with my top two venues in the world now. Isn't this place great? So um, let's hope it keeps going. Thank you so much, The Matrix, and lovely staff. Thank you. <laughs>